En cero segundos me puedes poner el logo de Deliver aquí, en cero segundos. ¿De Deliver? Sí. Uh, ¿La página? El logo. No, el, el logo. Pues si no lo apago. Gracias a todos. Vamos a empezar con las presentaciones. Pido por favor silencio durante todas las presentaciones y que no aplaudan hasta que acaben todas las preguntas. ¿De acuerdo? Empieza el equipo Burgundy. Good morning, we are Burgundy Project, Burgundy Team, and we are going to show you our project. First of all, I introduce ourselves. Y Santiago Ríos, Fernando Corral, and Sergio Ballester, and me, Patricia Campos. We are studying in civil engineering, so this project it is not focused on our year, but we have applied all our knowledge about dynamic, fluid dynamics, structures, materials. In this presentation, first of all, we are going to say you have, we have been Uh, the structural parts as the wings, the body, and the <coughs> system. And finally, we are going to do the center mass test. Also, if you have any question at the end, we will be glad of answering. And now, Fernando is going to tell you how we have been there. Good morning. Uh, now, I'm going to explain you how uh, we have built the, <coughs> the wings. Okay, we are industrial engineers, so we have knowledge about many fields of physics, but we didn't know how to do a, a plane, how to create a, a wing. So uh, we thought that it should be a form like that. We tend to accelerate the, the egg on the top and keep it constant uh, under the The, the wing. So we create this for the carrier, the carrier plane. You can see, see this one. Okay. Here I have the the another plane form. is so similar but smaller because the dimension of the, the other plane is is small. And this hot we have created. Because it's the way that we mm, link the these these columns. So this vertical vertical shape it goes the the wing is is so long, and if we don't take this this inertia, maybe the the wing could could bend. So with this problem, we avoid this problem absolutely. And then uh, you can see in this picture, this is this this problem. What is it like that? And this is a, a structure that you can see because the cover. We use this table cover because it was the less the lightest material that we had, and it was. The, the, the main point, the minimum weight. So this is all about the, the wind, and now it's set this time. Uh, now we learn to talk about the, uh, the body structure. Uh, like my partner said before me, the uh, uh, body structure is, uh, so the, It's made in the same way that uh, the main structure. It's a, a, good, uh, a good structure uh, covered by um, lighting material uh, in the outside. Uh, when our, first, our first idea of this, this body was to make a circular section. But uh, with the tools that we have, this it was very, very hard to do, and we changed to uh, a polygonal section that 
Sí. And these sections are are joining each other uh, by means of a uh, large beam that goes from the top to the bottom of the the plane. And now we go and we're gonna talk about. Okay. I'm talking about the, the join between the two planes. Uh, there are a lot of, of joints in the mechanical engineer, but uh, we choose the polar and land, it's a classic uh, joint for two pieces. You can see it in this in this part and in the mine. In the mine. And I can show you how can uh, you do it uh, one color and land. You have the male and the female part. Then the male can uh, introduce into the female part. So when you uh, introduce it in the in your plane, you can see it now. This is the female and this is the male. And introduce it into the Into the male. So now the auxiliary plane cannot move in this way, but the auxiliary plane can move in this, in this way. So to solve this this problem, we have put this piles here, and you can put in this in this position. So now the auxiliary plane. Moves in the in the same way that the the other plane. For example, if you take this, it's the the same way. And finally, you can do it the the mass center. In this plane, uh, we have a problem that for uh, put the central map, uh, uh, center of map. Uh, we uh, have to uh, drill across the the wind the wind spark. and we solve this problem uh, turning down the the plane, and we're gonna show you how to. This is the this is the mass And now for the main plane, we can see the, the center of mass. I see this, this point. The point of the That's all our presentation now. Do you have any question? Vale, gracias por la presentación.
It's, it's a really part of data. So we wasn't sure that if we make a, a big spot, if the material will break. Because the, the tools, when we were cutting, the material were disappearing right away. So we prepared to we count the loose and we did it. Uh, okay. What was the area of the way you performed? Well, our uh, experience with water pumps and with turbines, the turbines and uh, I uh, we think that in because we have to get um uh, we can extrapolate these um, turbines these uh, turbines uh, uh, place to to uh, a plane in the other of that, that will attack it, this question. Is what is the state of 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 the state it's the same problem, the material. The material. If we did it, there's a... This. When we did these parts, mm -hmm. many of them press in this, in this point. So if we try to do our aerodynamic shape, mm -hmm. we were in this to break the material. Mm -hmm. so, Pero me refiero a la parte de delante, ¿no? de, de Benny Mech, este, 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 está como la construcción, la televisión es un poco más redondeada, ¿no? De la, de la entrada, del ataque, de, 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 I mean, this shape mm -hmm. or the shape with paper? Of paper. This is because of paper. <laughs> <laughs> because this was a very good paper, a uh, chemical plastic that he has a. Uh, like, like you, mm -hmm. in, and we can attach to this part. But this is only with a uh, white glue. And it's the better that we can get. Um, um, why would you tell you to decide that the type of junction between the two the two aircrafts? Uh, 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 and also we want to innovate in this part. So try to do something different. Okay, and uh which is the weight of the of the we don't have anything to, to, to measure the weight. <laughs> so. Thank <laughs> you.
design the upper plane first of all because we have we had some regulations about the size and the weight and this would uh, give us information about how to do the second so the the, the, the plane down the first one um, first, of, first of all uh, we thought uh, about doing a skeleton of uh, wood pieces uh, with the idea of using the minimum number of pieces of pieces as possible, but also uh, trying to get symmetry, uh, stability, stability, and robustness. So uh, the idea we had uh, was to use uh, this uh, piece that uh, I will uh, name as the tail piece with a, um, a guide, uh, because we have the other piece that are the wings crossing this guide to have an orthogonal uh, wood pieces and have the symmetry and the robustness. But uh, when we thought about the real situation, uh, we thought that that, not, that would not be symmetric, stable, or robust. So we thought about two different solutions. The first one was to use uh, wood triangles, putting them uh, in the joint between the, the two pieces. And uh, we thought that that was not a good idea because of uh, the much number of uh, pieces we had. The much difficult is to to have uh, a robust model and um, a solid model because we had to, to test our models and if they fall down, they had accidents. It would be difficult to replace those pieces. And the other solution was to use a plastic bottle. In order to have this robustness, uh, we also had uh, aerodynamical surfaces, uh, an easy way to build our plane, and a simple way to achieve our goal. Well, now I'm going to tell you about the constructing method and how we did we build the, our model. Um, the first step, as you can see here, was to cut the pieces that we would basically talk about. And for that, we had to take two considerations. One of them was that to use, uh, to, to use the direction of the fibers to gain robustness in the, in the wings. And the other one was that he talked about the light, so that you have to go like that. And this guy, um, this guy, <coughs> um, completely flat or a little bit inclined, so that the wings would be inclined and we would gain um, so much, a little more or less stability, but here, if you plan it like that, it tends to fly up instead of flying down and going into its head. Um, the second step was to cut the plastic bottle, and the main purpose of the plastic bottle, as he, as he has already said, was to 
um, Asher Neverbender, the Virginia Perkin for the analogy. Um, but then, when we were going to use it, we saw that it's like it is really hard to, with a ruler, to measure in plastic bottle because it's geometry. It's not flat, so how could we, like, how could we did exactly octagonal and flat lines, and we decided to fill the water with water, put in a fast reverse, to check the water level, so it's supposed to be flat, and mark it. Once we had a red one, once we had two steps done, we put the plastic and the wood pieces together, and then finally we made the, we made the heads of the plane. Um, there was, we had two options, one of them was to make a lot of concentric circles, make a made of wood, and put them one over the other, like here, until we get kind of <coughs> But that implied a lot of weight, a lot of weight in the head, which, you know, well, normally they can apply in your head, so we wanted the other thing. And the other option we had was to make a bone of paper, fill it with foam, and we're going to do it dry, so it has dust to do, dust to do, and that is very, 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 very light, easy to make, and I'm really glad <coughs> we chose that option. And finally, we already had pretty much the, the upper plane already done, and we saw that we had the very problem that it was too much light, um, it was very, very light. The specification said it had weight of um, minimum of 250 grams, and our was not that at all. So even though it already was stable and flight in a good way, we had to modify it and add more weight. We didn't know where. So we made some flying tests, and we saw that we had taken a lot of considerations to make the plane go like that and go like that, so it was a little bit like that, and maybe we saw that we think that it would be able to get a little bit of weight in the head. And so we, we, took, we made the mix with Cartoon and Google, that was the heaviest thing we had, and we put it in the, you can see it, but it's here inside, and then it was still not heavy enough, we couldn't, we couldn't put more weight in our head. And so that's the reason we cover it all with um, paper and glue to make it a little bit more weight. And finally, um, we could have waited because we didn't have a balance, but we knew because of the specifications of the, well, we had the model of the, the other way, that they were coming in last, and the specifications said how much we waited so we could compare and then we had the really good As the um, model one was working so well, we decided to go on with the same idea to do the, the carrier. Uh, so we, we did it using buttons and, and, and the wood structure as well. Okay, there's a main difference between these two. It is the, the carrier has got a, a motor engine. And <clears throat> okay, it, it is very heavy. So we had to, to put weight on the other side to just to equilibrate and just to make sure it, it's fine for me. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk to you, to you about the wheels. This is the first design we have of the wheels for the shutter. Okay. Uh, we decided to do it in one piece because we thought that doing it with one piece uh, would provide robustness to, to our design. So uh, we went on with this idea, as uh, others said. Being like a, a cross skeleton of wood. It, it has a very good point, which is that uh, you can change the wings to, to try another ones. Uh, for example, it was the first but not the last. So, as you said, we, we change it for a larger ones because after trial and error, we find that it was uh, better. And another thing about the wings is that we have provided the wings. Uh, in, uh, you can see the shape we have done it. This is to uh, take advantage of the venturi effect. Uh, as you know, the venturi effect consists in having <coughs> a depression in the upper part of the, of the wing and an upper pressure uh, just down. So it gives uh, our, our model better uh, system rotation. And so, last but not least, we were, and in order for our models to fly in a proper way, we need to, to make sure that the, the center of mass of both planes were uh, right, not trying to make it uh, 
more stable in a separate way, but also when they're together, as they have to fly together, because the original idea was it is a plane that is carrying a space shuttle that would be shaped is like a space shuttle. And then we were trying to, to make it both uh, central masses right in the same vertical. Just that the upper one would not make any moment to turn it around when flying. And so that's that's why we that's what why we did it. And if we if we separate both planes, now my colleagues will show you how the centers of masses are perfectly found and balanced in our planes. And as you can see, just these pieces are just for showing it. They're not part of the model. This is the real plane. And now, also I want to talk about a really, really important part of our of our plane, which is the main idea was, as I said, it was um, a, a, a radio that was um, that would carry to a, a shuttle. So we needed a really important part of the design was how we could make the both planes go together and not get apart after we after they when they're flying. So this is the design we did. We, did, we thought it was easy. We thought it was very simple, and we thought it was effective because it has two pieces and it makes the upper plane not balance and not change the direction of the point, first one when flying. And so after that, and here I think um, we just want to say that it has been a great and a wonderful opportunity to be this weekend here working, and that we've learned a lot. We really enjoyed working under high pressure, and that if you have any questions, we'd be really, really pleased for them. Thank you very much. Inside the bottle, it's kind of like this. This is the tail, as you can see it, and the wing is just made of one wooden one piece. It's not two of them, because okay. we cross. thought, it, and it's crossing, because we thought it would be difficult to join two pieces of this wood <coughs> four millimeter without making them move and uh, so we thought that making it from just one piece of wood would be better for our for our purpose. And why is the shape of the Well, because um, in the original, well, the original exercise, uh, it had to be a space shuttle. So we decided to make it like a space shuttle, which is more like, we had a picture, it's more, a bit more like a rocket, so going to space. Mm -hmm. And so we decided not to make it as much of a plane, but trying to focus on this was the plane, that was the shuttle, and ready to, to head into space. <laughs> <laughs> And I have a think there's a problem with the, with the type of junction between the two of the two of them. Because if, you, if, this, uh, if you are flying, uh, how this, this rocket uh, can uh, separate of this one? Well, <laughs> that is that is going to go with Well, actually, this slide is low, so it's like this. Uh, it is like one centimeter per 25 centimeter, so it's not a lot. But we consider that it would be uh, better to, in order to, to fly more meter. Yes, because I mean. The engine here was, was really, really heavy in comparison to all the, to the materials that we had. This, this, this wood was like really, really thick and really, really high. And so we thought that making the, the wings a bit of an open angle would help it not to fall down just right after, right after the end of the power end. Okay. Um, uh, 
Center of mass, we try to put it like uh, not, not in, in the height, but, but as as, as, uh, down as possible. So it gives up the stability. Then the flags will see you through this bit of stabilization. It's, it's not uh, like very big, but it, it really works. When, when we try it, it's like it goes like straight. So that's uh, of course that. Yeah, uh, that uh, tail is very bad. Um, several things are bad and stable. But you have to insert it uh, play with, the, with the shirt of the wing section or with the distribution of, of the torsion. It is the work which is just uh, one of the last few. Another question is. Um, the wing is made of one piece, but um, how do you how do you um, get the shape? The shape of the wing. What is the criteria that you have for for the, for the shape of the wing? Actually, it's not the first design, so we have tried uh, several designs, mm -hmm. and just trying it. I mean, we have. Been inspired by what some some things we have said before, mm -hmm. of course. But then, okay, it's a it's a sample. I mean, it's not a real record, so so it's trial and error. That's yeah, we're saying. I mean, we knew that the space shuttle. I mean, they normally have like really smaller, I mean, what smaller and more like triangular wings. And this one, we try to make it like more wide, like more of a like, commercial. Thing. And uh, as he said, uh, like our design was like really easy to to well, to make and and make again. So we could try different different kinds of wings and different kinds of and tried one and once and once again. And as it is very close, I mean we could afford it because it fell to the ground lots of times. But then we think in the end we got a very good model. And then you have. You have said that uh, you have to add weight to, to make it stable. No, no, no. It was already stable for adding the weight. But the thing is, the specifications of the problem that um, everybody said that the small plane had to weigh a um, minimum of 250 grams. Oh, sure. So that's why. Yes. Which adding the weight made it a little bit more stable because um, more weight and we don't have like really precise instruments or material and more balance. So but we had to do it just to accomplish the problem. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
Porque antes ha estado así. No, yo creo que estos espacios están reservados para los No, yo creo que estos espacios están reservados para los Bueno, pues entonces nos ponemos la mano acá. Bueno, ponemos ahí. Falta manos para hacer esa. Esta es la de producción. Porque aquí va para ver. Sí. Pues me lo pongo aquí. Yo por mí. Bueno, ahora tenemos la presentación del equipo Pitch. ¿Podría ayudar con ustedes? Good morning, everyone. We are four engineers. Elia, Diego, Armin, Cristina. And we were hired by the Soviet Union in order to develop the space career against the USA. Our prototype uh, can, they couldn't transport by road or train because there were very violent groups that couldn't destroy it. So, this solution where a space system transportation configured by a rear aircraft to transport the sail plane on the top by air. We needed a camping system that is here to attach both of them. Um, is where well, our solution. So. Okay, so I will talk. I will talk to you about the theoretical approach of this project. First, uh, in general guidelines, uh, we need to be very stable and very efficient because more efficient, it means that it will fly slower and it will be more controllable. Uh, for it, uh, we, we try to put the center of mass um, the most forward that we could and put at the the most backward that we could um, especially if we needed that the, that the center of mass was, was um, before the, the quarter of the core of the, of the wind. So the, we calculated that um, and it was good. Then for the glider, we needed to be very crash proven because for, for test, we needed to, to be in uh, to survive, uh, we crashed uh, lots of gliders and things. So for that, we made it very rich, um, very reinforcement in the in the wind, and also this crash structure that is the formal, and we can we can put it back uh, with very little effort. Then for the carrier, uh, is we thought that we needed the most uh, the most wind wind span we could to be more efficient. And that's why it has two meter width. Um, and when, uh, finally, for the camping system, we thought that we have to make it the most efficient it could be. So we made that the cylinder, the hydro, sorry, uh, attaches next to the, sorry, Next to the wing. So. Can you see the. Yeah, that's good. Can you see? 
Mm -hmm. So we can reduce drag, uh, making the this wing uh, like uh, this part of the wing is part of the of the main wing, and it's without it would be the best solution. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the conceptual design. Uh, the point was to make efficiency as high as we could. So we had to, talk, to took into account the weight of the engine because it really moved the, the center of mass around the wing, the core of the wing. Um, the next thing we had to took into account was the lightness. We haven't put ribs in the profile because it will make the, the weight very, very high. And another thing we, we did was with tail loops and the tail because the momentum that this part creates uh, kind of balance the weight of the whole structure because the engine is really, really heavy. Um, and finally, that's it. That's the conceptual design. We, we put the, uh, like a, to avoid the momentum of the back of the, of the tail. We put this structure at the front, and now me and my colleague John is going to talk about it. Uh, as Tenia said, that the weight was a serious problem uh, to take into account because we need a big uh, wind surface to uh, lift uh, the motor. The motor, the, the engine was so heavy that we needed a, a such uh, area. So at first we tried with uh, wood. Uh, we, uh, the obvious need was uh, to have it. So uh, we improved and we find out that uh, uh, if we put a pump into cardboard and we, uh, and we get this uh, profile, uh, we had a very good uh, response in the direction of the wings. Uh, another point was that uh, the engine uh, was um, a problematic uh, system to at the hour to take to land. So uh, we we put it uh, up here uh, over the wings. So it was projected in case of in case of the uh, destructor or some uh, <coughs> we also uh, put two tables um, we could uh, do it uh, for the glider, and uh, we also use it to make uh, the detail. And uh, well, to prove the, the, the behavior of the sailboard, the, the glider, we tested it uh, at least 10 times, uh, making new profiles, making uh, uh, new ways to improve the the flight. Like we can put on the test. Um, even to us, it's so
Is there a system of separate the two Well, uh, we separate them in <coughs> on 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 that. Uh, I mean, uh, well, the cloud system goes with it, and then in in that uh, when it, it comes. Then we can separate them by the, but it's actually the same system. Mm -hmm. uh, we trade pressure on this ramp. We can go like this, and we, then we could make a ramp like here, or uh, it's in this out. No, but it's it, a it, 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 it doesn't. This attached in in flight because this is only a, a carrier for only taking the glider from one place to another. If we if we if the project was meant to make a, a, a kind of a space like the neighbor like or the uh, the Virgin Galactic, it would be uh, slightly different. But it it was the objective of this project. Which has been the, the detail to decide the, the shape of the, the character? The shape? Well, uh, first, the wing, only the maximum wingspan, and, and then the shape. Uh, as my friend said, John, uh, the motor here, uh, because it's more uh, secure in, in case it lands, we didn't break the. the the motor and all in this part, so we could replace it and, and still in the project. And also the two tables because it's a, a good method for putting the, the glider here. It, it gives you very very good space here. Uh, uh, also, we have like <coughs> the two things that we need to separate the board and the characteristics. So we can explain the topics and the how do you think about uh, another configuration and kind of configuration? Do you, do you have a kind of configuration maybe you could have a place that's not enough between the man and the man? Yeah, just I understand that. The camera configuration we, we thought that it would be um, more unstable in at first it is more difficult to we thought that it was more difficult to stabilize a camera configuration. So uh, a normal configuration with a, with the tail uh, behind gives you gives you kind of contrary moment when you hit uh, <coughs> down when you you want. It's a matter of areas um, position the way to the 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 we have tried to put the sail plane on the ground, but it didn't work because we, we, we couldn't balance the weight. We have tried, but we thought the, the better solution at the last was to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
some leaflets so mm -hmm. if you want to see everything they're going to say it's received here okay uh, my name is Jerry. my name is Alex. now I'm going to talk uh, about the wings but first of all I want to focus on the section of the wing um, I want you to focus uh, but uh, we decide to fill the wings with this section and following the Bermuda's uh, um, equation. Yes, because we all know that in this part uh, we have more speed, and uh, with more speed we have um, less pressure. And we all know that the plates go to uh, high pressure to low pressure, so um, we gain it with this mode. Okay, and then. Um, the structure of the wing is a mini section and separated, um, separated from each other and um, there, there are bounded with um, wood, wood beds and here in this uh, area we fill <coughs> with uh, foam with polymer foam then um, we dry it we cut the leftover and we cover it with this uh, paper. You know. And the good thing of this paper is that uh, there uh, is um, a low friction there. And this is an important thing because of the friction you can have a uh, our root tool of the living uh, layer. Here you can see this, this picture of the fissure. Fissure. This is the flow of the pressure and this is the, the friction flow. So if you have a uh, many friction you you cause the rupture of the of the limiting layer. Hello everybody, I'm going to talk about the longitudinal structure. So our plane is a bit different from all the other planes because the, the tail can, can move a bit. 
So we had this degree of freedom, and we did it like thinking about bamboo. Because if you have a really big tree with a really big storm, that tree will fall. But if you have bamboo that is flexible, it will not fall. So um, since we have to do more than one throw, we wanted to resist to the impact and the landing. So the first thing we did was to, to make it a bit flexible. Uh, then we, we used the central bottle as the main part of our structure. So everything goes around or over the bottle. This tail is, is attached with this, with this string. And it's not tied here. It goes to the nose. So everything goes and distributed. Um, then the wings are also uh, just on the sides of the bottle, and the motor is just on the back of the bottle. So this bottle is the main part of our of our structure. Then the cable, as I said, help us to to hold the tail in that position and also to to distribute the forces. <coughs> the wings. Um, are also flexible. So um, we have no problem doing this because they are designed to do that. In case of crash or just in case um, of um, having to remove them or anything, uh, we can do it really easily. And after, um, the last part is the damping system we have at the bottom. Um, it helps us when landing to amortize everything and um, it's basically a really uh, tough system because we thought everything to not to be really fragile, but to be not to crash, not to be broken when crashing. Uh, my right. uh, we are now carrying on the exercise of measuring the center of mass uh, if it's uh, if our planes are uh, stable or, or not. So if you can... Do you want us to die here? Is this just a string or... Mm -hmm. see. Some small plane is quite stable. stable. So as the big one. Yeah. That's the reason for the, that string to um, try to pull uh, up the, the tape. So uh, now Maria is going to introduce uh, the small thing. Um, hello, everybody. Well, we talk about the um, uh, carrier aircraft. Now I'm going to explain the middle, the middle, the, the same. Well, this plane has no has no motor. Um, we wanted to be as compact as possible, and we wanted that the center of mass to be between the the wings. Hmm. Our main difficulty was the the minimum weight that it had to have, because we at first we did the wings with paper. But then it was not sufficient, it was too light, so we changed the wings and we did it with wood. Well, um, the, clamp, the clamping system that we have to, to join both planes <coughs> is this, this Mm, the top of the bottle, and we we do like this, and then they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
also, as you can see, there um, we put some rubber and extra support here and inside to maintain the position of the wind. And also we put this extra mass to make the center of mass um, go closer to, to the end of the report. So if you have any questions, Oh, is there any question? <laughs> it's because it's like this. The plane really is. Oh, you mean? Yeah, I mean. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, one of our main uh, purpose most of the time, the safety of the plane, since it's a prototype. Mm -hmm. And if we put the wings here, there's more chances for them to crash. We also just plan them. But you have the, the, the two plane joint, one hitch to one direction and the other to the other side. Yeah. The other, no? Yes, uh, it's in order to uh, compensate uh, the center of mass and uh, make the center of mass of the big plane going uh, towards to the front part and make a more a bit more uh, stable. This is more a practical thing. In, in theory, if you design this uh, as a real plane, you could put both in the same direction if the clamping system was exactly in the center, in the projection of the center of mass of the small plane. Because here, the center of mass is the projection of the center of mass of the big plane. So the clamping system is in the same vertical axis. So it wouldn't change anything, but because of the prototype thing, it, it would be better to put it like that. Can you talk about the other layer? Yeah, that's the second one. Yeah, you can see here the speed under the layer. Okay. And uh, it, this is our section. Our, uh, the section of your yeah, of the yeah. wing. Okay. Uh, so, um, in, from here to here, mm -hmm. we have a uh, high pressure because the the wind crashes mm -hmm. in this side. So we have high pressure because the, 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 yeah. the speed the, the speed in this section is too low, and the speed in this section is too high. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. This, this okay. yes. So the pressure goes in this direction, mm -hmm. and the, the friction goes in this one. So if you have a pressure in this direction, friction in this one, I think that is, you can have a rotor. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Will uh, increase, and here uh, a new layer is. Yeah. 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 Uh, we don't uh, have uh, any close idea of uh, how plane or uh, the angles of the plane. So mm -hmm. just uh, trying and improving and improving our prototypes, and we decide this this angle will be extremely mm -hmm. <laughs> good. Okay. 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 Uh, I say, uh, it is uh, thick. Uh, and, uh, it is regular. It is tight. 
this is uh, there's nothing up in this one. But the the trading that is not sharp is probably why. But this trading the trading edge one is not sharp. It's part Okay. In, in theory, the, the processional area, it is. Um, we can try to make as as uh, simple as possible. It's but not like this. But it's quite similar. But after <coughs> this, uh, it's really difficult to like here. It's so much. Uh, yeah, we couldn't put it like really, really. Yeah. Yeah. It was our intention, but it's like this at the beginning and like this at the end. Yeah. Should be. <laughs> we we try that uh, in the limited time. Uh, and the materials are in the square. The time was wrong, it was running out, so. Is this is the other part? Yeah. So you think that this can be put in? It's the phone grows much. It's like the is it is just a little bit of a It is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit so a little bit of a little bit of it works, but not efficient. Maybe we should have figured out what is this in front. We had uh, that option, we thought about both options, but again, since let's say it's not a real thing, but it's a prototype, by like putting it on, on the nose, it would mean almost sure crashing it against the floor and breaking the. Mm -hmm. So we were we were worried about keeping it safe for more than one probe. Maybe it isn't clear we can make a way to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, it is. Some channels. Maybe with some channels from the from part, you know, we will uh, improve the efficiency, but um, as I said, um, the time, the stress. Our priority was uh, the safety and uh, yeah. the uh, of the mm -hmm. main. Ah. Because in, in flying mode, let's say, it will be like this. So it will be flat. But in crashing mode, no problem. Yeah. One other thing was. Uh, this in the group. Yes. Uh, this and then we will we'll pass with the uh, Yeah, at the beginning we have a, a tail much longer, but uh, it increases uh, the mass, the momentum, and the center of the mass of the plane <coughs> was uh, right to the, um, to the tail. So we wanted to that central mass was over the front of the plane. Yeah. At that this here. Yeah. 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 Very good. Um, I see that because uh, if, you, if you put the, the graph to uh, the high, then the is and then we um, the whole 
First of all, we are, I'm going to talk about the profiles. <coughs> we we try to differentiate the profiles in two kinds. What we call high speed profile and low speed profile. High speed high speed profile is what we can find on real planes on its wings and it has good supplementation for high speed as as we so we can meet like high speed. Low speed profile was like that. And here there's some turbulence and we have higher air speed and low pressure. And on the lower side we have low speed of the air and high pressure. So we thought that this different of pressures would allow us to fly more stable with low power consumption. And so we decided to create a profile on the plane like this, all over the attack of the wing. For the shape, we decided to do it like a triangle because it was symmetrical. It was easy to find gravity center. And when we attach all both of the parts, the charity center is in the same position. So <coughs> we didn't have to calculate much. So, uh, on this. We added the tail on the shuttle for stability uh, while flying with a engine. <coughs> it's this tail. <coughs> And it was so. Its purpose was that it goes straight while flying without engine and don't go up or down. <coughs> Last step on our design, we think this was really, really important because <coughs> the purpose of this device was to move the shuttle from one city to other when you cannot go by transport, by train, or maybe trucks, or wherever. So this was a critical point of the signing process. <coughs> the aim was that we can have a strong joint on center axis and no degrees of freedom at all. As you can see, the S axis is really strong. You can see. It's made with a bottle, it's on the line of the project, it's simple, it's cheap, and with this we attach the saddle to the aircraft so it doesn't move, it doesn't rotate, it doesn't move down or down, move up or down, and move the taxi. And for testing, we have tested the plane. We did like customizable uh, ailerons, so we can have some positions. You can see here that we get some positions. It, it doesn't have much impact while flying, but we thought that it would help us to do, to fly more stable or whatever. And um, that's all. Thank you for your attention. And do you have questions? Yes. Yeah. When the planes are flying, how do you separate them? Uh, uh, we don't separate them while flying because this they said us that it was like there's no it's not a glider or it's just going from one city to another, so you don't have to separate it on by flying, I mean. Uh, 
and in here or anything. Uh, we have protected this with uh, with wood here, so it doesn't damage. And on real life, it would have a landing gear or whatever. And when it's and when it's only the aircraft with these structures, it can land, so the engine isn't damaged. Well, I mean, the, this explains that the, that the carrier it is uh, supported by the carrier. Well, I mean, it is, um, well, uh, it is um, below, the smaller craft is below the bigger craft, but it seems that the weak um, ones <coughs> both the, the boats are uh, supported by the, the small craft. Yes, it's kind of, but I mean, it lands well as we tested it. Um, it was our first idea. We thought that this was better, so we don't damage the engine, so we can test it. Because if you damage the engine, you only have one of this, one propeller. So if we broke it, we don't have any other propeller for the flight. Right. This is um, a different configuration of, I mean, the small aircraft is more or less of the same size that the Yes. Uh, well, uh, usually, uh, the small craft is very small. Yeah. But uh, there was no specification about size. Um, as it had a specification that it should weigh like 250 grams. And as we did it with foam, we, we had a big aircraft that didn't, didn't weigh much, so we tried to do it like the same size, so we don't have the problem while while move. I mean, if you attach them, the gravity center doesn't move, so it's kind of an advantage. What is the first purpose of the vertical? Purposes. It was that the joint doesn't rotate at all, and when the aircraft is alone, it protects while landing. But there is no aerodynamic function. I mean, well, it, 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 can, it, can, it may help to go straight while flying. Um, I mean, uh, um, uh, can you show me the is on tail because tail is two two axes. So two planes have stabilization. But this is for the lower this this surface is for the lower and yes. this is for the uh, <coughs> with the but you mean that with this V shape in both the vertical and Place the role of vertical stabilizer and, and horizontal stabilizer. Yes. This for the more the Yes, this is like two axis stabilization. It's like normal configuration, but mm -hmm. so we have a good time. 
the current plane uh, is capable to use the, um, the wings of the shuttle to improve her uh, its um, stability. Okay. Uh, also, um, uh, also, uh, we uh, the, the center of mass of the mass center of this uh, of both device is uh, in, at the same horizontal plane. O sea, at the same <laughs> at the same horizontal plane. Uh, what is more uh, significant more stability? Okay, not like um, other body. So uh, there was also the thing of identity of cargo dog, meaning that uh, the plane is not only useful for transporting shuttles, so, uh, every type of cargo you can think of uh, with its high capacity. So it's reusable for other type of tasks, not only just shuttle transport. And as uh, you may see, the budget was uh, very economic, and uh, we are very pleased with the job we've achieved here. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any doubts, please come for us. I like to, to see the, the single mass test. Ah, okay, sorry. Uh, okay, this is the single mass <laughs> okay, this is the center of mass of the shuttle. Mm -hmm. This plane, this plane. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me show you the center of mass. Just a second, please. <laughs> this is the center of mass in this plane, but we want to translate the center of mass uh, virtually here to um, to align um, to align the uh, mass center of the of both device. The pumping system is. Well, the pumping system uh, it consists. Uh, let me show you. So it was basically with these uh, last these rubber bands here mm -hmm. that we have here attached. The shuttle will just uh, maybe twist it off. So the shuttle will be attached like this here. And these threads so with all of us, we we'll just put through here and on the other side as well. And here to just uh, attach securely the card so it wouldn't slip. And with us uh, being this uh, elastic, it's not to talk to uh, every other type of hardware, not just the shell, but anything that you can think of. So it's the same. Why do you have to start the game with the engine? It's a brown. And you mean underneath it? No, 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 on the field is not so
about the, the shape of the, of the wings and how to make it heavy and so we just try to go with the standard uh, wing shapes uh, uh, as I've seen in a lot of countries. I'm not an expert in aerodynamics, but I've seen this uh, image of the uh, slightly curved at the top and uh, straight yeah. underneath it. So <coughs> it's the same here. Yeah. Yes. The 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 Covering this hole with polyethylene, uh, the material was used up, and this is just to somehow represent the cabin that would be really uh, a bit of wall space, wouldn't be flat, but due to material constraints, it was possible to really in time. Maybe just this time, you could have this piece because it makes pipe. Yes, yeah. Yeah, but, 
as uh, we said, due to a material shortage, the Israel will start being a bit more deployed in here, and also here, making it more smoother instead of uh, this uh, uh, source sort of sun that it goes uh, very thin. And uh, since uh, it was very late when we came back in part of uh, doing the, the polyethylene, and uh, we didn't have really time to come up with any other solution because the materials were already used up when we came to the stage. And maybe the vertical stabilizer that we have been modified and then yeah. the um, interference with the half carbon weight and then remove this back. Yeah, but it was, it was considered to be a smoother transition, not like this all of a sudden. Tienes unas palabras que tienen sonido. Guay, esas serán las palabras. Buenas tardes. Creo que no me funciona el rato. We are going on a tour. Sí. 
Bueno, pero no está retrotaliendo o algo así, pero de aquí para allá. Claro, claro. Luz, 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 Hola. Oye, aquí no es ponga, por favor. ¿Qué? Lo pongáis aquí. Vale, pues eso está malo como No, yo porque si no, 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 no.
recomendamos que la gente se va a lanzar desde detrás de esa línea roja que está ahí. Entonces recomendamos que la gente se ponga pegado hacia la zona de lanzamiento, o si no, a los lados que por allí. La gente que se ponga en la zona de esa zona, pero con su propia responsabilidad. Si la vio, si la vio contra ella, se lo hemos arreglado. Y si quiere poner, se va a ver muy bien, pero si quiere poner. Vamos a entrar todos los planeadores. Comienza el equipo Burgundy, cuando quieras. Hola, aquí no, aquí no. Hay una segunda oportunidad para Thank <laughs> you. 
El siguiente va a despegar. It's going to fly, but with the with, with the guy. <laughs> Todavía no, todavía no. Trata de arrancarlo, Carlos, trata de arrancarlo. Problema de banquitos. The computer? <laughs> Oh yeah, we do it in my house. 
Okay, I will. Uh, this, uh, Mario said that he's going to throw the biggest plane ever. Are you looking for my second? They are repairing it because they lose the motor. <laughs> Los carliños. Mira, 
El coche de Batman. Esta es la nave de Batman. Piensas, Valeria? Que mola mucho, pero se va a acabar. Gimnasio, tío. Qué pesado, ¿cómo está? Con energía solar y ha pasado una nube. ¡Mar! Trata de arrancarlo. Va a ser un problema de manguitos, eh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Todo y demás. HP, Diola. Buenas. Esto es bien especial. Sí. Todavía que ahí somos 40 viendo, eh. Casi, casi. Estoy 40 horas en frente a la pantalla de ordenador viendo esto sin normalidad. <risa> <risa> Qué raro, ¿eh? ¿Qué va? ¿Qué va? Esto es la leche. ¿Qué va? Creo que va a intentar correr, correr la maratón y después dejarlo. <risa> ¿Eh? A 28. <risa> Claro, Valeria, claro. Ahora Mario se bajará los pantalones. Vemos aquí que la afición está a tope. Hagan sus apuestas. Nuestro fotógrafo super profesional. No te cortan los pies esta vez. <risa> ha sido, digamos, una buena acrobacia, se puede decir. Un exitazo, un tema. Ha perdido un ala en el intento. La vuelve a perder. Ahora llega la, una especie de nave de Batman y Boomerang motorizado. <risa> Joder. Bol, te, te, ta. Bol.
Que hace más difícil ponerlo en funcionamiento que abrir una caja fuerte. Venga, 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 chicos, chicos, la hélice, chicos. ¿Eh? Hombre, claro, se oye. Eh. Chistaco, eh. Una buena demostración. Ha hecho un double flip con tirabuzón cruzado. Menudo es genio. El último equipo. El equipo rosa. Uy, casi, 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 casi lo ha conseguido acabar bien en ese mortal. Creo que no lo va a intentar otra vez, no. Se acabó, se acabó, se acabó. Bueno, unas palabras. ¿Cómo ha sido? ¿Cómo describirías esta, esta competición de vuelo? Este test. ¿Cómo? Como en las nubes. Increíble. Creo que lo van a tirar otra vez, por suerte. Esto va a ser mucho y muy, muy, muy divertido. Una, dos y venga. Gira más, gira peonza. Menos mal que tiene que comprobar el punto G del avión, porque si no, no sé qué hubieran hecho. Men, or, ya, yeah. Bueno, ya, 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 Mucho amor aquí, en la IBEX. Creo que ha llegado ya el troll time. Venga, buenas palabras, Olmo. Árbol. Vamos a comer porque es lo único que vamos a sacar. Hey, Fergus. Some words. Eh, pues eh, sensacional eh, y yo soy muy contento por la competición. Yo he apresado tan, muy tantísimo. Thank you. Gracias. Thank gracias. You, so, coordinador, por favor. ¿Y se cree? Solo coordinador. Thank you, coordinador. Adrián, bueno. Esto ha sido todo. IT chicos. Responsible. Esto ha sido todo, ha sido un placer. Nos vemos en la cruising. Ibex Spain 2014. Uh, It's over. Bueno. <laughs>